All right. So we'll we'll give a few minutes for some other people to join. Uh, but yeah, I got your package. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what kind of adventure this is going to be. Sweet. I'm sure it's a yeah, great event. I, don't know, why, I don't know why you waited to a live stream to open that. You have no idea what's in there, dude. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, let me tweet this out. But I do have my skewed view uh, Stargate coin. Oh, so, nice. Dude, so bright. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that camera yeah. picked up the detail pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, it's also a good print. So it's is your second live stream now. Yep, my second live stream. Um, and then my skewed view flip flop, I have that too. But oh, I can't believe you print these things like this. Like is that that glow in the dark one. Yeah, probably. But I, I can't believe you print it standing up. Oh, that's the only way to print it. Oh, uh, why not flat like like that? Well, then it won't pick up all the the lettering details easy enough. It's the best way to print print all that pick up all the lettering details. I've tried it about every way. Yeah, and I can print it that way with no support. Any other way, I either need support or it's messing up the detail in the lettering. That's a pretty high infill percentage too. It looks like. Yeah, that's probably 20, 25 percent. Mm. Wow. Oh, let's see that alien. Is that the alien hat you were wearing the other day? Yeah, man. I really like this. I remember, hat. wasn't it Josh's mom first made him one of those a few yeah. months back? Yeah. So uh, awesome. she made him one of them, and then uh, I I had to special order some, and because people like these, it's a it's hard to pick up on camera, but it's a really really bright orange, uh, and I think the people who like them are hunters, not necessarily into three D printing. <laughs> So it's kind of funny, but a lot of people have been requesting them. That is funny. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. There's outdoor right, tweeting this out. So you're at 72 subs right now, buddy. Am I? Is that the number? Yep, 72. That's a good I year. Hit... That's the year I was oh. born. <laughs> is it? Okay. I want to hit that 100 so I can name the channel. I can officially take Greybeard. Yep, yep, okay. definitely. That would suck if you get like 99, someone locks it in real fast. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be, um, well, I mean, I would just have to do an underscore or something else or, you know. <laughs> uh, like, nobody going to do that. You know, I thought the same thing. That's the reason we started up the Skewed View 3D LLC, locked the name, did, did all that stuff, started up the business so early the way we did is so I locked everything down because I didn't want that. Yeah. Well, my Twitter didn't, I didn't make the cut for Twitter. Somebody else already had the uh, name without the underscore. So I had to use the underscore. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's surprising. I was surprised. Surprising. I know. Huh. I know. Uh, oh, I, uh, I opened my Twitter a little bit after I started the website. So I wonder if somebody went out there and just jumped on it. Yeah, they might have. Yeah. There are those people like that out there. Yep. Man, I really appreciate you doing this for me. I it wouldn't took forever I mean, for us doing this together on a live stream on a hangout I'll, with me. <clears throat> yeah, I'll say no problem, but I don't know what's in this box yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we first thing, find uh, out. yeah, first thing I want to do is, is talk about this uh, hacko thing. Uh, I got this brand new soldering station. I've wanted for a long time, and I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity to try this out so nice comes in a rather yeah it comes in a rather uh, plain box other than they do have the hacko on the side um yeah it's looking good nice little instruction pamphlet here yeah i would have never been able to figure that out i thought i had it when when i was pulling the cords off in that cable and I, I thought it went right to the box, and then it was hooked to the coax. So I was like, uh oh, John, help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this looks like the actual soldering arm here. Uh, and it has a connector pin for it. And that's going to go to the soldering station. The only soldering irons I've ever really owned have been like the little handheld ones. I've never owned one with this uh, full soldering station going on. So you keep saying station. So what's it got? Like the helping arms and the power, everything all in one there. Huh? Um, no, no, no helping hands. But uh, it does have like the the pen holder. Um, it has the sponge. 
and it has the cleaning bristles. Um, so, I mean, it's, and it feels very heavy. Uh, that's, that's a nice weight to it. And then the other part of it is your temperature control. Um, this is the uh, big advantage over some of those uh, smaller ones is you get a more accurate temperature control out of it. So, oh, nice. Looks like it just plugs in. Looks but, like a pimple. Yeah, my other. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And then there's nothing else really in the box. But my other soldering irons don't have temperature control, and it's very hard to do certain jobs if you don't have that. Let me close this box up the right way. So, looks pretty simple here. Cleaning wire, cleaning sponge, arm holder base. Initial setup, fill the small sponge pieces into the hollows of the iron at appropriate amount of water. Yeah. So the water is very important for getting the uh, tip of the iron clean. Sometimes- You know what, I don't even have the, uh, the YouTube open right now. I'm gonna open that up in the background. I don't know if anybody's joined us. Sorry, anybody's there, my bad. Oh, yeah, because um, I can't see that. <laughs> I see the Hangouts chat, but I can't see the YouTube chat. I'm getting to it. My bad. Bear with oh, us. Let's put that on. It's early. <laughs> I'm doing another twist tie here. This is a nice soft wire. So you don't want anything really stiff on, on the wire. It's going to get in the way. Oh, good morning, Carl. Your work here. Oh, it's Carl. Carl. Nice. Yep. Hi, Carl. Everyone try to get Johnny up to 100 subs today. We only got 38 more to go. <laughs> Everybody start sending it out. I, I think you mean 28? Yeah, I know. It's early. It's early. It's early. Let's go for 38, though. Okay. That way, if we don't make 38, we might still hit that 28. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Opening this up. Oh. And then I'll adjust the camera and put it more on the work surface here. How much was right. your uh, your soldering station there, John? I think it's about ninety bucks. Okay, it's not too bad. $90, I mean, Carl. It's uh, it's a lot different than saying, "Oh, I'm going to go out and buy one of those twenty dollars pens." Um, but like I said, I really wanted the temperature control. And let me go put some water on the sponge. Hopefully, that doesn't. Drop my Two group. people watching and three thumbs up, baby. Nice. <laughs> That's More thumbs awesome. up than the watchers, yeah. 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 All right, so I threw some water on the sponge, squeeze it out a little bit. I just like it a little damp. Oh, right. did you have a chance to uh, check out the STL files for that rifle we sent? Oh, yeah, he wants you to put a link for that soldering station in your description. Oh, yeah, I will. Oh, we are going to yeah. do some weapons from this game, Jason. Yeah, I'll, I'll put um, – let me see if I can do it right now for you, Paul. Uh, I don't want to post Twitter. Hey, Kalua. You guys like – you have a tab on your computer. What is it? You guys have a million tabs always open on your browser. Uh, no, I try not to. I, I hate that. Yeah. I'd be afraid to leave the wrong one open. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have an old phone for that. <laughs> is hey Carl? Is our sound and everything okay? Sound video good. Not getting any echoing or reverb or anything like that. All right, last one. Right. And where's my YouTube at? So. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I have to. I thought he was getting ready to start. Uh, he had some issue or something. He was working out and should have been starting on uh, that Thanos sword at some point. 
So we're working on a commission piece right now. I'm doing this for uh, a guy reached out to us through Twitter the other day. This is from the Flash TV series. Anybody watch that? We haven't watched it in a few years. I did for a while, but um, it got a little bit old for me. I, I felt like it was. Right? Like the first few seasons yeah. you watched? That's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. Same with, uh, what's what's the other one? The, the guy who shoots the arrow? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, Arrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I watched, I watched the Arrow, and then they had the crossover with the Flash, so we watched like the first couple seasons yeah. of that. I watched more Arrow than Flash, but kind of both fell to the wayside. Well, yeah, I wanted the, the, the problem with Arrow for me is suddenly everybody could become a Kung Fu master in, in two months. And that was just <laughs> crazy. It's like, okay, now this person knows how to fight like an expert. Now this person knows how to fight like an expert. This is <laughs> maybe well, superhero ness rubs off on people. <laughs> right. Yeah, let me get hey, everybody that, see uh, Avengers Endgame yet? Oh yeah. Oh, that was awesome. I ain't going to say anything about the yeah. movie other than it was awesome. All right. Let me see if I can get this thing tilt down here. A good view of the workplace. Oh, before that, though, check out my shirt. I like this shirt a lot. I should put a link to this. Yeah, I was looking at that. What, what is that? Oh, okay. So, no, I see uh, this is Stormtroopers and Meeseeks, and they're trying to teach Stormtroopers how to shoot uh, Wookiees and Jedis, and they're failing. You ever see that what episode? Is, it's a great episode. What is the VC? What is the thing? Uh, it's from Rick and Morty. Okay. Uh, well, that's, why, that's why I don't know. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> have to watch yes, Rick and Morty. That, that is what that is, Carl. Cicada Dagger. The other two parts are printing right now. So we designed it. He had to have us print it and ship it. So I figured probably about 80 bucks total. He's going to do all the... This, well, I might glue it together. I don't know. He said it'll assemble it and clean it, though. Finish it. So, this is this is the box that Sholm sent me. Though I got to keep it down here now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I don't heard you were scared of the dark. I don't know what's in it. So this is this is kind of uh, <laughs> going to be interesting, right? Okay. Is there any way you can blur stuff out? You have no idea what's in there, and you're opening this on a live stream. <laughs> Do I need to blur stuff out? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find is out blue together. Stuff in this? Yes. This is a What's mystery. That? Like, like, is this uh, like getting one of those boxes off the dark internet? The dark, dark web. <laughs> yeah. yeah. YouTube is so full of treasures. <laughs> oh, it's just got all the stuff in it for you to. Do that, and it also sent the uh, the ruby nozzle. You said you could torch that and unmeld that for me. Oh, did you jack up a ruby? Yeah, it's in there. All right, let's see what we have in here. So we have a plastic sheathing thing, and you said this I is a hate pain those in the things. Okay, you have slice engineering uh, boron nitrite. I hear this stuff's really good. Yeah, I got that straight from Slice. Uh, slice Engineering Mosquito Hot End. Hi, Tom. Like. Who do we have? Yeah, I put all the important stuff in the box. Yeah. So, vanadium high temp nozzle. Oh, yep. 0 0.6. Nice. Um, coupler. That's a special attachment you had to have. I forgot who made it yeah. for them. Um, this is just some screws and whatnot. Now I've never assembled a mosquito, so uh, I'm glad I get to do the first one with your machine, not mine. Oh, and the, well, the slice engineering fan. Reassuring for me, isn't that the tiniest damn fan? It's so cute. <laughs> it is cute, and then the actual mosquito hot end. So no thermistors or anything in here. Hopefully we have them in the uh, box still. So. Uh, looks like some carriage mats. That's the old thing. I didn't know. I just sent. Is, yeah, I sent yeah, the whole thing, the baby. Connector. All right. So this connector, this is what you pulled off the TiVo. Yeah, that's the one we were trying to uh, hook up, the modified one when we were doing the volcanic hotting with the Ruby. Yeah. And, and you the decided Ruby kept to. Jamming up. 
cut everything off of it? Like just I did, man. The thing was all messed up. I wasn't getting power anymore. I was like, damn, I'm done. I snipped it. I get aggravated like that. You gave me your whole carriage here. That's uh that's interesting. Oh yeah, I did. I was like, here, hook it up. All I want to do is put it back on. <laughs> And there's the ruby. It looks uh, yes. jammed up. We're and at 70. What, what did you do to it? What did you yeah. do to this thing? It's jammed up, dude. Wow. I don't know what happened to it. I'm not Here a big fan have, of the ruby. We have three thermistors, it looks like. That's what you told me to buy. That was at length. There was three of each in there. Okay, and three hot ends. Well, that's because, or heater purchases. That's because I know you messed it up a lot. Yeah, I know. So, so uh, some Priline uh, copper PLA, nice. Oh yeah, that copper's sweet, dude. Priline pink. I think you've sent me the pink before, but I'll check. Maybe I don't know. Pink tank. Awesome. Tac tank. Tact ink, like tactical ink PLA blue. Tact That's a good yep. blue. Tact ink. All right, I'm going to set the filament aside. I'm not playing with filament right now. And those are the, uh, I printed out, those are the uh, attachments for the Mosquito. Oh, okay. Okay. The prints are right. a little uh, John, the a little rough 3D print nerd just sub to your channel, John. Who did? Don, German print nerd. Oh, awesome. Thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get more, but I, I also want to know what other videos everybody wants me to make. So... Let's see. We have uh, three pack of these. We got these on Amazon, right? So, yep, yep. So you got three times to get it right. Uh, I only need once. <laughs> the other, the That's others are I for like you, man. Here, buddy. <clears throat> Trying to get these wires apart. They're a little bit uh, not tacky, but rubbery, so they don't slide on each other that well. Speaking of rubbery, what's that little mat on your table? It's That's actually cool a bamboo. It's a bamboo mat, and the only reason it's here is because if solder or something falls, it's a uh, it's wood, and it won't let the table get rent. Oh, nice! I have these, I have these rubbery mats. Uh, they're off camera that are normally on the table, but I don't think they'll hold up to solder. Uh, the bamboo mat, if yeah, the wood is going to handle it fine. So yeah, I bought one of those big old mats. Uh, uh, what's his name? Joel, the the other printing nerd. I'd recommend it a few months back from Amazon. It just hangs on my wall. I haven't really used it but once so far. But it's nice. It's one of those cut and reheal ones, you know. Let's see. So I got one thermistor out and one uh, heater cartridge out. And we'll have the others as spares or for the next time uh, you need a replacement. Because how many printers do you uh, normally have in your house, Sean? Uh, like five or six. Yeah, so having spares isn't too bad. And I'm gonna <laughs> no, we're building up arts. We built up a lot from uh, the past couple months when you and I were trying to get a tornado going. We kept buying all the wrong parts. <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I can uh, find the. Where did I send that to you on Twitter? The links. Uh, yeah, Twitter through message, I believe. So, um, yeah, but you know, the, some of those extra parts that we bought that you had me get for the tornado that we didn't use, I ended up using when I just changed fans out on the Ender 3 and stuff. So You're breaking up or I'm breaking up? I don't know. Who's breaking up there, Carl, Don? Am I okay? Sound good to me. You sound good, John. All right. I heard someone. Oh, this was nice. Okay, yeah, I, I know why I sent you to this one. So uh, this this whole kit this is twenty four volt. This whole kit with the uh, three thermistors and three heater cartridges was only ten dollars. So uh, it's I, I guess it's it's a great little. I mean, you're not going to find cheaper. Not not really unless you order directly from China, and that will take uh, a long time to come and in. The, the link looks like it's good. Yeah, so I'm going to put the link into the uh, YouTube stream here. Find my oh yeah, for the parts, good call. Yeah, dude, you could uh, you could put a link to the mosquito hot in and stuff too if you want. 
I'm going to go ahead and retweet. I'm going to tag some people on Twitter, see if we can get you some more subs over here. Not that anybody pays attention to us on Twitter, but if I tag them, they at least got to look at it. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm going to message uh, Slice Engineering, let them know we're streaming, doing this now. So John over at Graybeard 3D and I are live streaming <laughs> as he is working on putting that mosquito hot in on for me. Yeah, ship it back. I can put it on the tornado area. No, if you want to swing no by and say, Hi. yeah, no you pressure at all either. For me. Just saying, this is interesting. <clears throat> so, buttons. Yeah, this this thing should be lining up better. Hey, there's no shame in my game. It's not your spam game. game. I don't spam nothing. I advertise. <laughs> There's a difference. Look at this. All right, so these are our wires. Speaking of advertising, make sure you get some filament. U.S. monofilaments doing that sale right now. I don't know how you can beat it. Buy two <laughs> rolls, get one free. Uh, they, they Twenty dollars a roll. That's really hard to beat. They are uh, saying you're a spam king, huh? <laughs> now you're a spammer for U.S. model filaments. <laughs> Car Carl said I was the spam king. Yeah, I'm on Twitter, and I just seen that again. <laughs> Dude, that's a hell of a sale. That's, I don't consider that spam. I consider people need filament, and at that price, how yeah. can you beat it? It's good filament, too, and it's made in the U.S. So rather, like than, rather than repinning uh, the new wires, mostly because I don't have these, these connectors, but rather than repinning these new wires, I'm going to solder these new wires in here uh, and cut the old wires, and uh, we should be good. Now, what did you tell me? What did you tell me? You specifically told me you cannot solder together. You can't those solder. Wires. You, no, you can't solder at the hot end. You can't <laughs> solder here. So if you solder here, it's going to melt. You have to solder way down the line. But you also told me you you don't uh, uh, solder well. No, I don't solder at all. I, you know, no. So uh, there's proof of that somewhere. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm the world's best solder either. So oh, well. At least it's my better to get plugged into to see. <laughs> you just a different beast. John, I got all the faith in your capabilities, my friend. Oh. Yeah. I'm You're just saying totally different things now. <laughs> now he's going to hack and splice and <laughs> so I just want to get the lengths right like you don't want to have uh, extra of any particular cable so if you see at the end down here the, the problem with this is these cables wouldn't have been long enough anyway if we did repin them uh, we actually oh, have a little bit of shoot. Yeah, they wouldn't I have been long it. enough so, but this is telling us where we need to cut because if we cut too low then we're going to have a shorter wire we need to cut up here where we have excess wire. Okay, um, without too much, without too much excess. Yeah, yeah, but we, we want to be up here somewhere. So let me let me get this lined up and let me get a zip tie, I think. Maybe a zip tie. We'll see. Those wires are looking pretty wild on that bamboo mat there. Oh, is it is it uh, doing some weird? Uh, Sweet, thanks, Don. Graphical, graphical glitches. That's just cool. It's just some people that need we didn't have to pay for. <laughs> hey, you should turn, push your camera up a little bit. Push it up? Yeah, because you yeah. can't see your other hand, what you got going on there. That way you can see the mat. Off. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. Right. There you go. Now so, we have a full view of what you got going on. I'm also just looking at this, trying to figure out which pair of these black wires are the thermistor wires. And I think it's this pair. But there's, there's four <laughs> black wires. There's four black wires in here, and that's not good. I know. But I think these thermistor wires, they feel thinner than these other black wires, so I'm going to say that's that. Uh, I should get okay. a multimeter and do this the right way, but we'll see. Yes, let's do that. Oh, you want to do it the right way? <laughs> yeah, man, because you're like, I think, I think. <laughs> Look, I could defuse a bomb <laughs> like this. this. I, think, I think it's this wire that we should cut. <laughs> hey, Brian, welcome. <laughs> I heard it's always cut the green wire. Yeah, that's that a good idea. Movie? Who says they have to use a green wire? 
right? <laughs> Unless everybody's buying the same parts from the same supplier, and that's why they're always a green wire. Look at that axe. So, All right. I'll check this link one more time before I make any cuts. How's your weekend going, Brian? Off to a good start? All right, you need to this to help keep this stuff together. Where is San Sean? Anything good? Good weekends? What is it? I am trying to uh, tag a bunch of people on, on Twitter here and pull over, see if we can get you some more subs. That would be cool. Uh, Brian's printing another blower fan for the AC unit. Oh, hey, Brian, by the way, dude, these things are awesome. <coughs> Brian Bynes did a video you should check out. He had the link in the video for these coils, these springs. I replaced the ones on my Ender 3 Pro. I'm going to replace the ones on the Ender 3 as well. These things are awesome. What a difference it made changing those out on the Pro, Brian. Thanks for the suggestion. I always hated that, not being able to freaking level that bed right, almost taking the knob off as you're pushing the bed up on the one corner. No more. Yeah, that's why you were taking a printer outside or in the garage for that ABS, right? So right now I'm just kind of zip tying these together temporarily just so I can kind of keep these in, in line. I want to keep the links the right way. Okay. Zip tie much. So, all right. So I have my new wires here and I have my old wires down here. Uh, this is going to help keep everything kind of together and then hopefully when i solder it'll make it easier as well i do have a helping hands uh these little things are goofy but they they do help yeah i got a uh, pair this, of those i bought them oh, and I have yeah. yet to use them. i'm gonna ditch this magnifying glass it just adds weight to the whole assembly that i don't need you know you were at orlando john as busy as it was i meant to it was just too busy i wanted to go take that little soldering class thing that 15 minute deal they had I just didn't well, get a chance to. Wasn't that Orlando, they had that set up, that workshop? Yeah, there's probably a uh, makerspace near you, and, and most makerspaces run similar classes like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. we have a, a fab lab near us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It sounds awfully commercial. <laughs> <laughs> we had checked it out when we were thinking about getting uh, a skew view going. And the big old expensive machines they have in there with the little build volumes. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, yeah, stock springs are real weak, Brian. These look like the thermistor wires. Should we start with thermistor wires? Does that sound fun? They should be um, the thinnest wires. You keep saying should be, I think. Yeah, they should be, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, I know you just messing so, with you doing that earlier in Hangouts. Oh, you, you think I'm messing with you? All right, use the force. <laughs> Let's do it. So uh, I guess if I pull on these wires, uh, I should see. No, I didn't these. say use force. I said the force. Yeah, if I pull on these wires, I should see these retract some. But I don't want to do that, though. So let me go find a multimeter for Sean. Although, I don't know where they go in this assembly. It doesn't really freaking matter. I just have to cut these wires. So, Because <laughs> yes. I don't want to pull this assembly apart and to see where they all go. Uh, these do seem like this black wire is fused to the red wire. I'm good there. And this black wire does seem closely associated with this red wire. Plus, these have a similar feel and size to them. So I think that's that. I'm pretty good with this. All right. I trust your expertise. Here, here comes some cutting, guys. This is this is a once and done. Okay. Night, right? Hold on, let me brace myself. Okay, brace yourself. Here, I'll cut. <laughs> All right, it's done. 
Now, so you like those guys with on the forge of fire when they're beating up their weapons. Do you remember which one goes left or right? Um, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yes, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. <laughs> oh, okay. So Brian, Brian is serenading us. <laughs> he's he's singing to us. Yep. Wait, what so is it? take rolling, rolling, rolling. broken things <laughs> and try to fix them up and make them print again. They're Mr. Yeah. Mister. <laughs> now that's something you don't want to do when you're diffusing a bomb, though. Maybe I shouldn't say bomb on YouTube so much. Wow. Did you just say bomb? I know. You can't say bomb. Okay. <laughs> so I just thought... Speech. It's like, why can't I say bomb? Bomb, 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 bomb. What's that? Uh, meet the parents? <laughs> I can't find my good strippers. This sucks. Okay. Let me All try right. this one more time. I don't want to damage this wire here. Well, hopefully you cut it so we had enough excess. So by the time you have it stripped about eight cuts in, you still have enough wire. Yeah, I need to get good strippers. If somebody knows some good strippers I can, I can grab off of uh, Amazon. Let me know. I have the all right pair. I want the pair I seen uh uh Chep. What's his name? Chuck uh Chuck how bad is that it? Yeah. He had I uh, was watching uh actually when I changed my fan on the Ender 3, I watched that video and his his wire snippers like this big handle thing, he just went and it was snipped and stripped and ready. Really? I wonder if it'll handle yeah. something this thin. I feel like I'm I'm working on headphone wires right now. Because those are always a pain in the butt. There we go. There's some exposed wire. And somebody remind me to uh, get the heat shrink tube on before I start the soldering. I always take finding out later I need the heat shrink tube. So I have this John, nice. Uh, it's ready. <laughs> I have this nice selection of wires. You know where I'm going to forget it? I'm going to forget it on the um, heater wires because that's where I'm going to be all excited. <laughs> so that. So what is like that? that the heat shrinks. Yeah. I have a whole variety pack, and we don't need all of this. Let's just cut this with hopefully something better than these wire strips. Boom! Just for you, Don. What happened? Oh, he just said, just say boom instead of boom. Oh, okay. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay, so I tagged Joel that Telling on Twitter for you, John. You tagged That's Joel? So <laughs> I did. It would be awesome if uh, Joel was a sub. <laughs> I'm not big enough for that. <laughs> Never know. I tagged and got a uh, – what's his name? Maker's Muse jumped on Lydia's stream once over LE3D. Let's see. Oh, this See, this is this is good practice now. Um, Thank like you. I'm wires. glad I, I can think, help. I think a lot of people don't like twisting wires. <laughs> I don't know. Man, this attacking the beast. See, it's mutually beneficial because you're going to want to do it to one of yours in the future, and now you'll have the experience. And there's no way I was going to be able to get it done like this. So, um, I don't think any of my printers use a thing like this, though. I don't know. So this one I can cut even shorter because I have a little bit of a, and I know that's not going to show up on camera well, but I have a little bit of an overlap there. So I can cut this probably about here. Get rid of those. Strip these back a little bit. No, you never know where he will show up, Carl. You're absolutely right. Joel Telling can pop in here any minute yeah, just to say hi, John. Oh, yeah? Hey, um... Yep. Sure could happen. Oh, just like I might make breakfast and bring it up there to you, buddy. Hand delivered. <laughs> Hand delivered breakfast. Fire. <laughs> fire. All right. This is time for fun. This little uh, this little doohickey here makes this job a little bit harder because it keeps wanting to fall off the table and go everywhere. Uh, yeah, I said doohickey. Well. 
It makes hey, don't forget the heat shrink. It's on there. I'm gonna forget it on the heater wire. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna mention it every few minutes because I have no idea when it needs to fall in place. Oh, it's <laughs> off. Nice. Now, I just twist my wires around and then I. Oh, you got weak toes, Carl. I guarantee you just that. Your uh, wires? Just, no, I twist them like that, and then I, then I solder them together. Uh, that's how I do it. Uh, I know there's a better way. Uh, there, there's actually a way you can twist wires and get them to be uh, properly bound without even using solder. What if you do the, the trick that that I seen on that video? A chap will twist it like that, make a yeah, little hook. One. Twist the other one, make a little hook, put them together, seen. and then lock them. Yeah. So there's ways of doing it, and uh, without even using a solder. Now I like this solder gun too. Uh, this thing is oh, that's gas a nice kit. Yeah, it's a gas-based solder iron. Uh, it does come with uh, uh, some solder and a few other bits, but it also is a blowtorch, which is what I'm going to use to fix that ruby nozzle. To hopefully fix that. Oh, ruby Don nozzle. said Joel swung by on one of his live streams a couple months ago. That would have been cool seeing the 3D print nerd on the German 3D print nerd's live stream. <laughs> That's cool, Don. Don't worry, I'm keeping up on the chat for you, John. I think the um, iron is heating up now. It's always a good idea to wear uh, protection equipment, kids. If this is heating up, this is fast. It's already at 500 degrees. What'd you say, eye protection? Eye protection? No, any protection. Protection's good. So what kind of protection would you use when you're soldering? Uh, you might want a respirator or just an open air room. You might want uh, maybe, you know, you can burn yourself. Maybe you want gloves, although they would just be in my way. What about glasses? So, would you recommend glasses? Sure. Glasses sound great. Well, see, so you're like Should me. I, I, um, I, I do all the things I'm not supposed to, but I do mention and tell everyone not to do what I do and how to do it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Don't do it how I'm doing it. Because I'm doing it wrong. I, I just All said right. that in the last time when I was glooping inside the house. <laughs> yeah. The door open. <laughs> so I asked them because I got gloop on my hands and I tend to get gloop on my hands a lot. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm all, your, all your warning, warning labels, how, how scared should I be that I got gloop on myself? And uh, they're like, look, we don't recommend doing that. Uh, just wash it off. Yeah. No, you feel it when you get on there. First time I got on my arm and splatter, I went, oh, man, that's the first thing I thought of, too. <laughs> how much, how adamant they are about warning you not to get it on you. I'm going to do something else here. Um, so I'm going to use a second piece of uh, heat shrink tube. Uh, I was thinking I could wrap a little electrical tape around these, but I'm just going to use a second piece. And then, so these are going to be all in. Actually, that might not even work. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that one out of that tube. So each one will have its own heat shrink. That'll work better. Oh, you're putting the heat shrinks on each one now so that you don't forget? Yeah. So, um, but no, I originally had the heat shrink on both, and then I was going to wrap it around, uh, maybe add a little tape. But the tube I chose was so narrow, I don't think I'd get it over the tape or even even another heat shrink tube. So um, I just decided to go individual heat shrinks for both. Now, when you're soldering these things, you want the wire to get hot, not the solder necessarily, uh, meaning you want to heat up the wire and then have the wire that you're soldering together melt in the solder. And so you know, then you're actually heating the wire and not the solder? Yeah, the wire is heating the solder for you. Not the, not the, uh, you're not putting the solder directly on the iron. Um, and you know when you do it right because you'll see the solder wick up like into the uh, strands of the wire. Uh, that's when you're doing it right. If you don't see it wick to the strands of the wire, um, it's not going to be a good connection. So, all right. So we have that. We have our two heat shrinks. Hopefully uh, I cut the right ones because if I didn't cut the right ones, um, show me your fan might run backwards. <laughs> I 
Uh, have a he heck of a jam up problem then, huh? I'll do that at the end. Okay, so I put the heat shrinks in place. I'm gonna heat shrink those in a minute. Let's move on to the uh, heater cartridge. And we'll start with a good cut here. I love these little clippers. I get these on Amazon. I think I have four pair. <laughs> uh, they're, by, yeah. they're by somebody here. They're so small, though. That's like this last pair I just bought right here, these yellow ones. But they're so small. Yeah. I mean, all of them are small, but a little smaller than normal. I got a pair of those. They are really good, but they're just so small, dude. So I, lo I love these things. Um, they do say to wear eye protection when using them. So liability is a thing, right, guys? Always wear eye protection. Um, I can start up a private one. So Sounds good. Wow. Uh, uh oh. Carl said make sure you get the polarity right on the heater cartridge. Okay, we'll do. We'll do, Carl. Good tip. Always get your polarities right. Yep. Make sure it's set right on the flux capacitor. What, what's the kilowattage we need for that, Carl? You mean the, was it gigawatts, gigawatts? A gigawatts, gigawatts. I'm waiting for him to correct me. <laughs> the 1.21 gigawatts. Yep, 1.21. Right, let's click here. So this is the part where you're supposed to say, hey, Aziz, light. No? What is it? No. Isn't that what they say? Aziz, light. One of the first lines in a excellent movie uh, everybody has seen called Fifth Element. It, they're in the, uh, I think it's Fifth Element. Yeah, they're in the um, pyramid or something, and the kids hold in the uh, reflector for the lighting, and uh, the the doctor keeps yelling at them to um, uh, hold the light right. Fifth Element. Yeah, I remember the movie. I don't necessarily remember that part, though. Yeah. So these are the old wires. Um, I'm going to pull them out of the bundle now because uh, I've already made all my cuts and everything. And those are the ones I snipped off. Yeah, you butchered them. Pull that one. Pull that one. And let's pull. Whoa. Stuffing. The what cat happened? just took a fall. Jason, go fix <laughs> Oh, man. What happened? Oh, it me into my nose. If that thing had nine lives, you just spin them all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The cat's all right. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bill? <laughs> all right. So, the cat so there goes your old wires. I had to put a – take that off. Go – dump all the hair outside and then bring it back in. So she's got a blanket up on the top of the couch and I don't know what she just did, but she rolled the wrong way and her and the blanket just tumbled over the backside of the couch. Oh, what's up, girl? You okay, right. good girl. No, come here, you okay? Yeah. So we're gonna put our heat shrink tubes on the um, uh, heater cartridge so wires. What's wrong, huh? You fall? You all right? Strip these off. Huh. You didn't like that, huh? You still all antsy. Huh. Say so what's up, people? All right, all right. I'll let you go. Oh. I'll tell you Take what, this, that hair this taco he heated up to 750 in no time. Uh, what, what heated up to 750? Soldering iron, it, it hit 750 like that. I, that was incredible. I've always had cheap soldering irons. I always had the, the little 40 watt pens um, that have no control on them. And this was on my nice. uh, Amazon wish list for I think 
six months and I finally decided to buy it for myself because apparently my family doesn't read my Amazon wish list. <laughs> Uh, and The Losers is a good movie, Bill. What? You on the road? No, 3D printing trucker, Bill, jumped in and said, sup, losers. Oh. Hey, make sure uh, you okay. sub if you're not already. Trying to get John up to I, 100. I do appreciate that. I, I would like to lock in my channel. If anything, sub for that, even if you don't want to come back. <laughs> Our cat's not one of those uh, lovey-dovey, let's curl up and rub on everyone and come smile for the camera type of cats. Our cat's one of those, I'm going to lay around, I'm going to lick myself, I think I'll go eat and maybe take a dump, and hey, that's a good day type of cat. So go figure. <laughs> come on, this one wants to be difficult. My slow, 750. You got the heat shrink tube on? Oh man, I forgot it. Where were you when I before I soldered this? Go along here. <laughs> All right. uh, I used to play Warframe. Bill, you printing while you're driving? Hey, what's up, Matt? Jake from State Farm just jumped in. Oh. Hey Jake. Wow. Hi. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Hey, John. Hey, like John doesn't know me. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get guns here, so. Okay, uh, so we have John. What's up? John, uh, Jake from State Farm jumped in and said, show him as the last person. You want as a spokesperson for your channel. <laughs> that's uh, there not go. the first person to tell me that. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I love that you can like around. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let me go fire up this thing. Let me move this. They don't know so it. He actually knows me, and they don't know him yet. <laughs> uh, hey, I learned one can lesson you though. Her out of the truck. What's that? Uh, why'd you take the printer out of the truck, Bill? All right. Uh, I'm looking for a lighter. There we go. That's about right. Oh, hey, Matt. No, I'm talking about the echo. Remember that I nail I messed up a few months nice back? Up. Look at that. Never did lose it. But oh, man, it's been raw forever. Too. All right, I'll be right back. I know how you do stuff like that. Do you see that nail? Do you see the nail right there, Matt? That was just for you. I just want to show you how, how well it's healing. Pretty good, huh? Are you going to do a new rig, Bill? Set up something? Uh, get a printer back in there? Wow, I got nothing but love for you, Matt. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool looking screen for Jason. <clears throat> yeah, I loved watching the videos of that stuff printing in the truck, Bill. That was awesome. What's John on the union break? Did I miss something? Hey, uh, I had to go find the right tools for this Ruby nozzle. I did not know you were giving me this as a side project. <laughs> oh, do we, do you we, forgot, we, didn't you? I don't remember the discussion over the, uh, fixing the ruby, but it's all good. You said you okay. had a so, oh, things? Yeah, I do. So I had to get the uh, pliers and the ratchet to remove this thing. So, oh, so you don't even need a torch? No, you have to have a torch. Oh, okay. I, was to it like this, I, I started to going strip it I stopped. Uh, yeah, I see that it's a little stripped. That's why I asked you what you did to it. <laughs> I tried to remove it, dude. That's when Sean, I got aggravated. I cut the wires. <laughs> you are the last person I will let work on a 3D printer. That's mine. <laughs> you just you just get oh, frustrated good. and rip it apart. 
No offense. Hulk smash. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see how I'm going to do this. I, I was thinking the helping hands, but they're not going to have the, the strength to really work with this. So All right, this might be a three-handed job. I might need gas. So what are you working too. on this weekend, Matt? What kind of projects? You printing anything right now? Hmm. Might be a little low on fuel. Holy cow, look at that little torch. Man, yeah, I thought man. it was going to be like one of those big cans. And <clears throat> I got my wife one of those flambe, whatever they're called, torches or whatever. Um, is that what that is? No, this this is a soldering iron plus torch. Um, as a soldering iron, it's passable, especially if you're like out somewhere and you just need to solder on the side of the road, because we all do that, right? Uh, um, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was on a road trip to Florida uh, with my father and mother. We we're going down to Bike Week, and uh, the CB radio, which I don't know why anybody still uses CB, uh, yeah, but. <laughs> The CB radio um, crapped out on us, and we, we stopped at Walmart and bought a soldering iron, and I fixed it while we were going down the road so we could get back on the CB. So, Hey, when I was a kid, my parents were all into the CB. My dad was the Coca-Cola Bandit. He used to have a 69 oh, yeah? Charger. Yep, he had a home base operation. His car had one. My mom's car had one. Now, if you don't have a torch, an alternative would be to replace, this is the old heater block that I guess you cut off, would be to replace that heater block and heat it up, or not the heater block, the heater cartridge, and heat it up with a uh, heat up with a 3D printer if you don't have a torch. Oh, I got it, which the wires had busted for the one, and I couldn't get it to heat up, which was why I cut it. Yeah, Carl, that sounds awesome. You should move to Florida because Florida's awesome. You see that? Uh, see that yellow coming out? That's your that'd be a full time job. I just don't have money to pay for that. <laughs> What's coming out? See all that yellow coming out? I think I just accidentally melted your ruby there, Sean. I finished mine. You finished yeah. Is that showing yeah. up on camera? Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, camera. Did he melt the anyway. ruby? <laughs> I can't see. Why would the ruby look yellow? Uh, well, when it, when it melts, it turns yellow. Yeah, more more is uh, bubbling up. No, it's it's whatever PLA you had in there before. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, half the time I just let you mess with me because it's fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm being entertained as much as you are, buddy. <laughs> All right, this yes, thing's you probably hot enough. This, Matt. this is a package I sent him. This is for my TiVo Tornado. Uh, this is, well, this was, this was the last attempt. We tried to put a, a Ruby nozzle on there that I got from Community Ketchup. And it was a high temp nozzle. So it was one of the big long ones. We had to go through, buy all this stuff, do all this stuff, get it all hooked up. And it just kept jamming. So we went back to square one. Got a mosquito hot in. We did a couple live streams. We bought stuff we need, right. pulled the wires apart, realized I had to solder and stuff, and it was just easier. John recommended shipping it to him, so I shipped him all the parts, and here we so are. So I got it out. And uh, the nice thing about the socket is you don't have to touch it while it's hot here. So you can just, like, uh, leave it in the socket rather than using, like, um, you uh, a wrench. You lit on the bamboo mat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bamboo's good. Wow. Okay. Look, this, this is um California safety bamboo. It's not allowed to light. It's not allowed to catch fire. <laughs> yeah, not allowed to do a lot of things in California. All right. Uh, now that I have the torch lit, though, I'm going to also heat shrink this stuff. <coughs> White night bus. That'd be awesome. Matt, what are you working on? You never did say. You printing anything right now, buddy? And then heat shrink this side here. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the heat shrink. Thanks. Oh, yeah. You can't fucking donate this, All right. 
we're good to go. That's uh, that should be a good job there. We have the four wires heat shrinked up. The color of the heat shrink doesn't matter. The, these uh, these red and black. I think I got them in the right order, but it shouldn't matter. And uh, that's it. Now we have to get. The yeah, I noticed that when we got them, that they were white, and the ones on there were red and black. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> no, actually, yours were. Uh, they were all black. They weren't uh, red and black. The red and black goes to the fans, and polarity is important. Oh, okay. So, as you can yeah, see, we have our wires, and they go all the way down. The fans in, right? The what? They said we won't even be using those fans in, right? Because it's not even that setup. It's going to be all in the the little mosquito fan and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I, I think we might just stick with these fans. Whatever we got to do. On, I wasn't that's, planning that's on putting old, this. That's the old uh, modified part, so the, though. The problem with uh, using this fan, or is this a new piece that you printed here? What is this? That was that was the piece. Those are for the old one with the ruby. Both of these are ruby. Okay, yeah, so that was all for the ruby. So where's the pieces yep. for? Where's the pieces for the mosquito? The little one, the little printed white one. This whole thing here yep. is meant yep. to hold the fans, the ruby. I don't see it happening, dude. And there's that little round metal whatever piece. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's, just, that, that's, that's just what the I was E3D told. Mount. That's the E3D mount. Okay, let's look at this. Let's pull open this uh, E3D mount. Uh, Good advice, Carl. Hey, you're swapping out all your electronics on the ender? Did it just go bad or are you just upgrading it, Matt? Let me see if I can get one of them in here on this live stream. That would be see, nice. Look, that fits there, and then it holds the uh, it holds the sliced mosquito thing down there. As long as there's enough clearance in there, we should be fine. But if we had to switch to this, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to hold everything we would need it to hold. Do you have the Thingiverse page for that, Sean? Uh, hold on. I probably have a link here with the slice engineering. Damn. Okay. So that's not going to fit with this mount. So, hmm. Can uh, one of you join us in this live stream? We can use a little assistance at this moment, please. Period. You're not bothering them with that. Uh, Greatly appreciate it. You told me to reach out to you when we were working on it. Well, we were working on it. <laughs> Uh, okay, I just reached out with Slice Engineering. Let me see if I can find that link that they sent. Uh, I'm cleaning up the print a little bit because it's not fitting the uh, P3D mount that well. So oh, I can get a pistol. <laughs> I'm not able to get this to seat fully there. Okay, the one thing is the groove mount coupling. That's yeah. that little. Yeah, that little. Part yeah. they uh, they probably that, don't want to call it the E3D mount. They probably want to call it the groove mount coupling. Which yeah, this was done like by uh, Printed Solid. Did it? Yeah. Printed Solid are making those for them. Nice. Um, Printed Solid's making a lot of cool uh, mods. Hey Jess. So is this, this one the, uh, going right there? Okay, maybe this is all you need for it. What do, what do we need? Maybe this is all you need, but uh, I still don't see how we're mounting a cooling fan to this thing. I don't see how this holds a cooling fan as well. Maybe that was supposed to be added to the other mod that I already have. I don't know. I sent you everything just to be on the safe side. I'm trying to get one of them in here. Well, do you have a link to your mod? Hold it. Here's the link. A thing of verse. I have a thing of verse uh, for the E3D V6 mount for Creality CR10. Yada yada. Okay, where are you sending that to me? Uh, are you sending Twitter? Are you sending in this group chat thing? Are you sending Twitter? All right. All right, 
Let's use these little Allen wrenches. I might have to reprint this component though. It's it's not quite fitting. Okay, try that. Yeah, I agree with that rule one, uh, trucker. Oh, nice, Matt. Hey, Matt, you're doing the ender. Did you see uh, Brian Vine's video with those coils, those springs upgrade? Dude, those things are awesome. I went ahead and got them, and I, I changed them out on the Pro. I still got to do it on the regular ender. Man, these are so much better. All right, so if anybody in chat knows a good CR-10 mount for, or a TiVo mount for the uh, Mosquito, that's what we would need because the mount you sent uh, <laughs> is not, it says in the description, it does not include a part cooling fan mount, uh, which means you won't have, uh, you won't have part cooling and then all your PLA will look like junk. So that means I can only print ABS with it. Even with ABS, I mean, there's some bridging times where you're going to want uh, you're going to want to have a little bit of fan. Uh, let's see here. I'm seeing I'm if trying, the mosquito I'm trying to get page, one of them in here. Yeah, I'm seeing if their mosquito page has anything. Okay. Yeah, remember, they're, they're a smaller company, you know, busy. Oh, it's fine. Right it's, now, it's also a, a holiday weekend Saturday. If they showed up, I would be thoroughly amazed there. Yeah, that's true. I forgot it's Memorial Day on top of it. Install the set screw. What set screw are they talking about? I guess one of those. Those aren't set screws, though. This is a cute little. Uh, Can't see it. Oh, uh, it's not on camera. Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, why don't you show off that uh, that hot end? It's thing is it's, awesome. it's really nice. That is. How many people in the chat uh, have a mosquito hot end right now? Anybody got one of those on one of their printers? Carl, Carl already told me that uh, it's a bit more delicate than the others, so I'll need to resist the urge to destroy the thing when it goes wrong. <laughs> All right. So we do have a tiny fan somewhere. I guess we will end up using this fan. Where did it go right here? Um, which we potentially more soldering here. Uh, the problem is I don't want to solder this fan on until we have figured out the um, what mount mount. system we're gonna use. Yeah, because it could affect where we solder this or how we handle this. Um, and I could even see there being a mount that uses the stock fan because it's a bigger fan and why not um well that you can't you can't use that with that i was wondering I, for some reason man i don't know i was thinking maybe the one sat inside the other and mounted but i don't know dude that's why i sent it to you i just don't know <laughs> so um i think i see some things i can print to get this wrapped up but we do have the heater cartridge replaced the thermistor replaced uh, we have the, the mosquito uh, almost ready to go other than the mount system. Um, and we need to couple this to this. And I think, I think that should be easy. I bet you it's just these. Definitely long enough. Yeah, what are all the little brackets and stuff that, that they sent with it? Jess, what are you guys printing this weekend? That, 
doesn't quite look right. Anybody in the chat going to be at Earth this year in October? No, we're going to be there. John's going to be there. Oh, I look forward to it. Definitely. All right. That looks right. So it looks like it's these um, medium length. What hotel we staying at again? Where's the party going to be at at Earth? Somewhere. I forgot. I switched because where he said there's what? Restaurants and bars and everything over there. Yeah, there's some walking distance uh, restaurants and bars and stuff um, to our hotel. I think one of them's a green turtle. Um, so just look for the green turtle and look for a hotel near there. And that's probably ours. But uh, it's nice. going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Sean will do karaoke. <laughs> Man, I get everybody to do karaoke. I'm not Don't doing karaoke anymore. Yeah, you said you said that last time. Yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get a let me get a better tool than this one. So the the anybody supplied. Uh, anybody want to bet on that whether or not John is going to do karaoke again? Good luck. I bet he does. Um, so the, the supplied Allen wrenches, they don't have the ball end, and it's really difficult to get in here, uh, get in here to you these can't screws. See. You can't see? Hold on. Let me get my screen up no, so I can see what, I'm, what you're seeing. Hold on. All right. So there's two screws here, and they connect to this coupler. And okay. uh, these screws are hard to get to with a straight uh, Allen wrench like this one. So I'm going to go find my ball head uh, Allen wrenches, which I think might be right, right here. Second. Okay. Oh, and let me. Uh, how do I mute myself here? All right. Um, oh, he is um, muted. And uh, hold on, Jake. I'll tell you. I know we switched. We were booked in the same one we were last year because we were. They had a restaurant and a bar and everything hooked right to it. Um. Hang on. But then uh, John and Josh were staying at a different one, and he told me about the restaurants and bars and walking distance. So we switched over, and we are now booked in there. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I guess we chat a lot. <laughs> I wonder if I can even go back that far. Oh, my gosh. What are we at? Knitting circle. Let's see, is that it? I think that's it. Aha. Uh -huh. Days in by Wyndham Aberdeen, 783 West Bel Air. Let's see. Let me turn this one way or the other. Yep, yep, that's what it is. It's the days in Aberdeen. Oh. All right, I'm back, guys. So uh, I, found my, I found my yeah. Allen wrench here. This is this is a, a Weha. I really like these things. Uh, nice quality. They're German made, yeah. but it has a ball end on it. You notice that, and that's going to let me get in here to uh, fix it first. Hold on, Matt. I'm going to put the uh, address up on the screen here for you, buddy. I'm just trying to do this and get everything else blocked out. You want no? Matt's going to be there. Jake at State Farm. All right. So there's where we're staying. That's the hotel, Matt. We will be there. We locked our room down, I think, from Thursday night through till Monday. It's the Days In, Aberdeen. Days In by Wyndham, Aberdeen, 783 West Bel Air Avenue, Aberdeen, Maryland. I think it was getting a little cool, too. So uh, there were. Yeah, it is. You better, you better book that room soon. So, um, and then the fan would mount probably sticker side. Most fans have a directional arrow. I do not see a directional arrow. So I'm going to assume it's the sticker side mounts 
record the uh, unit like that. And it did include uh, two long screws for that. But um, before I do this, I do want to figure out uh, what mount system we're going to use. And I'm going to have to reprint those. So that's obviously not happening on the live screen. Okay. Uh, we try. <laughs> Yeah. It can happen on the, the live stream. The last thing is, yeah, we, we can make a new live stream for uh, assembling the mosquito onto the TiVo. Uh, the last yeah, thing is getting this heater cartridge in here and a thermistor in there. And the thermistor, you'll notice, isn't quite made for this. And the solution for that is the slice engineering uh, uh, boron nitrate paste. You want to use this paste because it's going to be very hot. And this is the stuff that can handle the temperature. Uh, but that paste is what we're going to use to kind of like uh, close the gap around this bead of glass here, which has the thermistor. So okay, I was wondering where um, that paste came in. Yeah, it, it's also going to we're going to put maybe a little on this as well to help transfer the heat, um, and maybe a little on the threads of the uh, nozzle. Uh, so it's good stuff, but you can't use any thermal compounds because it can't handle the heat of a hot end. But this is the stuff that you want. Yeah, it's only is I think it was ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks at Print yeah. Solid. It's pretty easy to get. No, I got I got it from Slice with free shipping. It was actually oh. cheaper. Oh, okay. Because they're right in Florida I'm, too. You forget I'm in Florida. Yeah, so Print it Solids in Delaware, and I'm in Maryland, so it's like so I get everything yeah, from them in a day or two. Yeah. Yeah. So you take that screw out, and then you can fit everything in there. You put your screw back in. And I'm not going to do this now because uh, depending on how this mounts, it might want to go in that way or it might want to go in this way. So I have to uh, find the right mount for uh, Shulm and we'll get that put together. And we'll do that on another stream. Maybe a tomorrow stream. Tomorrow morning? Yeah, right, so we can do that. Back in there. Let's see here. There we go. Uh, I just put the hotel up on this on the uh, chat there. Okay. Yeah, if you're going uh, to Earth, that's where the fun's going to be. You definitely well, the fun's going to be at Earth, but I mean after hours, Earth. Yeah. You definitely um, want to get a room early. If you're if you're a creepy stalker, that's that's where uh, Sean will be. <laughs> I don't want to stalk me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, check this out, John. Did I show you this? Uh, Clayton, Uncle Jesse. Hold on. You're, uh, I'm locked in right now. There you go. Posted a, a picture the other day for the Knights of Ren in the new Star Wars movie. And one of okay. I can't figure out who the knight is, had this badass sword. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, we're doing that. So we're in the process of doing that right now. I need to uh, – I can't figure out. I've been researching. I can't figure out who the knight is because I'd like to make the video and have his name in there. But so that's, that's the whole sword. Sweet. That's like some Mad Max shit stuff. That's what? the entire sword. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, we'll do that's a prop. Like I mean, that's a the meat, first meat version. Cleaver. Yeah, I'll show you the actual picture of it, dude. The thing's okay. pretty sweet, actually. Let's see. Maybe anybody can identify who this knight is because it's really aggravating me. I've not been able to figure it out. So this is the post, the picture that Jesse or uh, Clayton, yeah, Uncle Jesse, repost it, and the knight is that dude there. I need to know who he is. Uh, yours looks quite a bit smaller than his. What? <laughs> uh, yes, it does. We will do a prop one, but ours always starts out that way. Okay. Are you going to send that over to Illumatube? <laughs> so there's your ruby. Brian. Yeah, I'm sure he will. What is that? There's is that your, the ruby? ruby? Yeah, I got it out. Small Yeah, it's, probably, it's, Small so, it's so shredded, though. You think it'll even go back in? Oh, yeah. This thing will work. It's well, a much I'm smaller obvious. piece of ruby than I thought. <laughs> well, I know your opinion on the ruby, so you don't have any yeah. use for it then, right? I do not. I don't have a volcano uh, anyway. Okay. So what I'll probably I mean, do is I think I'm going to give it away on one of our live streams. Yeah. Let's if you had, up. If, 
if you had a cutter or maybe a Dremel, you could cut it down to be a regular size nozzle. <laughs> really? I guess so. You know what? Uh, should I do it? Should I have you do it? What happened? Yeah, you can't hear me anymore. So oh, my yeah. earbuds, my earbuds were dying. Let me try to connect. I can hear you now. Uh, it's it's a speaker, but I want earbud. Yeah. Show that again. Yeah, the problem this is, is what that happens when you that use that long nozzle. You know, a lot of people don't have that volcano. Dude, if you, so, if you, if you, if you cut, cut, it down, cut it down, John, let's try it. Oh, you want me to cut it? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if you cut this, I would use uh, I would use probably a cutoff wheel, a, a reinforced one, and then I would run a, um, a die over it again uh, to make sure the threads are right, um, especially this at the beginning. Sounds good. Let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's a fun one. <laughs> you don't have to do that, dude. I'm I'm half messing with you. If you want to, if you want to experiment and do it, you can, or you can just send it back like that. I'm fine either way, John. It's fun watching your All face right. when I said that. Though. <laughs> yeah, let me find a marker here. Let's mark this thing. I don't know if I have time right now to do this. My wife wants me to take her out. So. Oh yeah, I didn't mean you had to do it right now. Go take the wife out. I'm gonna mark on this. Oh, that's not gonna mark it. If mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. Oh, you're, you're telling me, man. Huh. All right. I want to get the length approximately the same. Although most uh, E3D setups um, have some flexibility in the length, uh, just depending on where you set. Let me find it. How far in you set the uh, heat break to. So that will let you adjust the length some. So no big deal. But then you can go back to a regular block. Okay. That sounds awesome. Now I can just have it as a spare nozzle. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, I think there's a retention mechanism in there or a retention uh, ring in there, but I hope that they kept that retention thing uh, the same way it was uh, on the shorter nozzle. We'll find out. I might destroy it for you. Okay. That's fine if you do. Yeah, so either you can do a giveaway or you can uh, attempt to fix it. <laughs> I say let's attempt to fix it. Oh, I forgot that was off camera too. So I marked it by measuring it to this. You're fighting the, uh, the new nozzle. And uh, if you cut it too short, you can adjust this uh, uh, heat break tube by how far in you screw it. Or if you cut it too long, same difference. Yeah. So you can screw it in a little bit more or a little bit less, but you don't want to go too far because you need that you need that gap in there. You don't want to eliminate yeah. that gap. So you you have uh, maybe. Carl says, uh, <laughs> Carl says, don't cut it. You'll never don't get it perfectly true surface. He said, remember you oh. need to have a complete seal between the nozzle and the heat break. If it doesn't seal, true, you'll Carl. get oozing and jams. That's true. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way we can figure out how to make that perfectly smooth. <laughs> Sandpaper? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good point, Carl. Don't worry about that, John. You're doing enough with the, the hot end and everything else. <laughs> I'll figure out something with it. I'll end up Somebody has to have a machine. Somebody has to have a machine that'll cut that perfectly smooth. A drum I appreciate you getting that on for me, buddy. No problem. No problem. All I right. Mean, you're going to go have uh, lunch with uh, the missus? Yeah. Actually, I'm taking her out to get a manicure. Um, nice. So we're good here, though. Uh, this is looking good. We're set to go. We just need to find the right plastic bits. Um, and then I'll print those up for you, um, I guess, in ABS, since they're going to be close to the hot end. Although, I think a lot of people are using PETG now. I don't know. Uh, let me jump over to Yeah, you. I haven't had too much luck with PETG, PETG, whatever. 
I know a lot of people are using it, seem to be pushing that way, but I just got into PLA last year, so. <laughs> you just got into PLA. What were you using before PLA? Last ABS, baby. Wow. Yeah. Yep. That's ABS. what we started with. We started with a couple XYZ printers, some DaVinci 1.0s and ABS, and then the Prusa with the box. And When I started printing, ABS was what I was supposed to be using, but I had such a hard time with it. Um, but part of it was just the maturity of the printers back then. Um, I've done I've done a lot of ABS since, and it's been okay for me. But it, it's definitely not as easy as PLA. So yeah, true. All right, true, I'm gonna true. clean up this mess uh, so my wife doesn't yell at me, and uh, figure out what we're gonna print for you, and try to get this thing reassembled on another string. All right, I'll touch base with you later and see what uh, get together tomorrow on the stream or something. See how we're looking. Absolutely. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit the 100 number. If you have friends who you can uh, force to subscribe, go ahead and do it. I don't mind. And uh, Ryan yeah, just jumped in, watching. Mr. Buttram. Oh, okay. Well, we're signing off. Um, <laughs> thank you all very much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go spend some time with my wife. Have fun. Tell her I said hi. Okay. Talk to you later, Sean. Yep. God bless all. <laughs>